His Excellency, the Governor of Lagos State, Babajide Sawunlu, the British High Commissioner, Deputy High Commissioner, and members of the British Diplomatic Corps, all members of the Board of Trustees of the Musical Society of Nigeria, our patrons, ladies and gentlemen, I am not here to welcome you. I am too small to do that, physically and otherwise. <laughs> exactly 23 years, two months and 18 days ago, the foundation stone of what has become an icon of excellence in music and the arts in Nigeria was laid. It is with great joy and pride that we recall that that foundation stone was laid by His Majesty, King Charles III, then Prince of Wales. And I will now just simply, with the greatest respect, invite to welcome you, the chairman of the Board of Trustees, Musical Society of Nigeria, and a patron of Muzon, Louis Namdi Mbanefo, Senior Advocate of Nigeria. And thank you, sir. Thank you very much, Yemi. Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure you don't want me to stand here all night recognizing everybody here. I shall simply adopt the existing protocol, but I have to mention and I have to welcome specifically His Excellency Governor Bebajide Sanwo Olu, Executive Governor of Lagos State. And I have to also welcome the representative of the British High Commissioner, the Abbe uh, Barnard, who's here with us. And I have to recognize a very important person here, Chief Anyoko, former Secretary General of the Commonwealth, who's here with us. And we have a very distinguished patron, Lieutenant General T.Y. Danjuma, retired, GCOM. And his wife, Senator Daisy Danjuma. I also recognize Lieutenant uh, Major General Ike Wachuku and his wife, right here. We were hoping that Mr. Kentola Williams will be here with us tonight, but unfortunately he's indisposed. But his daughter, Tooks, is here to represent him. Tooks. As I said, I can go on recognizing people for the rest of the night, but I don't propose to do so. And I shall just simply say, all protocol observed. As you all know, the foundation stone of the Muzon complex was laid on the 16th of March, 1990, by His Majesty King Charles III. He was then the Prince of Wales and came on a visit to Nigeria at that time. He very graciously accepted the invitation of our then chairman, Mr. Akintola Williams, to perform the foundation laying ceremony during his visit. Some photographs of the event are to be found in your brochures. The acorn planted by the king on that fateful day has blossomed into a mighty oak tree. For what started as an idea in the minds of the founding fathers of Muzon has developed into this beautiful complex which is the prime venue for musical and artistic events in Nigeria. Muzon is the home of two schools of music, a choir of international repute, a symphony orchestra of great accomplishment, and the first operatic repertory group in Nigeria. It is my hope that if and when His Majesty visits Nigeria again, the High Commissioner will include a visit to Muzon in his itinerary. The initial inspiration for the formation of the society in November 1983 
came from Sir Mervyn Brown, who was the then High Commissioner between 1979 and 1983. A keen musician, his regular concerts held in his residence drew upon the available musical talents in Lagos and became major social events. Upon his departure, a group of music lovers formed the Musical Society of Nigeria as a charity with the aim of promoting the performance and enjoyment of classical music. Of the original founders of the society, I'm happy to say that Mr. Akintala Williams, now 103 years old, as well as our Vice Chairman, Chief Femi Adeni Williams, and my humble self, are still with us. I remember with fondness and immense gratitude our deceased co-founders, namely Chief Ayo Rosiji, Mrs. Francesca Emmanuel, Chief Rashid Badamosi, Mrs. Olga Miller, and Mrs. Otto Lijadu. And I was also very sad to hear of the demise just last week at the age of 90 of Mrs. Eileen Barnard, a pianist who was a very valued member of our Board of Trustees for several years. I pray that the souls of the departed rest in perfect peace. It was a dream of the founding fathers of Muzon that our young people in particular should be exposed to the understanding, enjoyment, and performance of serious music, the benefits of which are enjoyed in all civilized societies. The dream is being fulfilled because the 400 graduates of our diploma school are now playing a major part as teachers and performers in enhancing the standard of musical performance in churches, in schools, and at social occasions. I express our sincere gratitude to the MTN Foundation who continue to provide scholarships and equipment to all the students at the diploma school. I say a special thank you to our board of trustees and our management team for maintaining our very high standards. And I thank all those companies and individuals listed in your brochures whose very generous donations over the years have made the Muzon dream a reality. I end by expressing our sincere thanks to all those who have made considerable contributions to the musical achievements of Muzon. I start with those directing the performances this evening. Maestro Emeka Mokedi, and Maestro Walter Michael Volhart, the conductor you have seen in action. I also thank the current director of the Muzon Diploma School, Princess Banke Ademola, and her predecessors, Mr. James Adekunle, deceased, Mrs. Marion Akbata, and Mrs. And Mrs. Edna Shoyangwu, for their sterling work in nurturing the Muzon schools and the musicians who will perform this evening. Last but not least, I express the gratitude of myself and the Board of Trustees to the Deputy High Commissioner, Mr. Ben Lewellyn Jones, and his colleagues for their kind contributions to the preparation of this event. Thank you all, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, for your kind attention. Long live King Charles III. Long live the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Thank you. With great pleasure, I'd now like to, re to invite the representative of the High Commissioner of the United Kingdom, Ms. Abby Bernard, to give opening remarks on behalf of the British High Commissioner. Ms. Abby Bernard, please, you're welcome. Thank you, thank you. Um, good evening, everyone. Mr. Governor, Permit me to stand on existing protocols. Distinguished guests, 
The UK and Nigeria is pleased to partner with the Muzon Centre as they honour their majesties, King Charles and Queen Camilla, and celebrate their affiliation with His Majesty, who, as you heard, laid the foundation stone on his first visit to Nigeria in 1990. As Prince of Wales, His Majesty went on to visit Nigeria on a further three occasions after his first visit. The most recent was in 2018. He has a strong connection to Nigeria, its people and its culture. Many may also remember his speech in 2018 when he broke into pigeon. I will not be attempting this, I beg. I had to pick up some. Uh, what's really special is His Majesty's love of music, personally commissioning 12 new music compositions for his coronation. He is an active supporter for music and the arts, and how proud we all were to see Nigeria's very own Tiwa Savage, her performance at the King's coronation concert. It's really heartwarming to see so many of you join us here today to celebrate His Majesty the King's coronation and enjoy good music. Thank you too for all of the sponsors who have made this concert a reality. I appreciate all the hard work behind the scenes. I'd also like to point out, we have representatives from Charterhouse School here. So if any of you have school-aged kids, do please speak to them. The school will open its doors in September 2024. Now, that's a bit of a plug from me, but I can't help share this amazing news as a parent. Um, so do speak to them. And finally, I'd just like to thank you all again on behalf of the British High Commission. Let's enjoy some great music. And thank you all to the musicians, the choir, the orchestra, the conductor. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, have a great evening. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the choir will open with a song entitled Kilen for Babel. It's a Yoruba song in praise of the king, exalting the king.
Don't worry, ladies and gentlemen, the rapture has not occurred. <laughs> We're still here on earth. Meanwhile, um, with the greatest respect, I'd like to call on His Excellency, the Governor of Lagos State, Governor Tsong Wo Olu, to say a word or two to us. Well. Thank you very much because um, I wasn't asked to speak before we had all of this beautiful rendition this evening so that I don't distort the flow of all the music. I want to first so acknowledge the patrons of the Music Society of Nigeria that are here, the Board of Trustees, um, representative of um, the British Deputy High Commissioner, other excellencies that are here, captains of industry, senior, senior citizens that are here, distinguished Nigerians, um, and music interests. Um, let me say um, that I'm truly, truly delighted that I was able to create the time to join you this evening. Um, Uncle Louis told me that I'm the first governor in several, several years that is coming, maybe the very first one, so I'll take it on, that is coming to honor um, with a rendition like this. And I'm privileged to have met um, His Majesty King Charles III early last year. I was actually telling Uncle Louis that the Lagos State government also sponsors the, well then, the Queen's Commonwealth Quiz, right? Um, now I think it will change to the King's Commonwealth Quiz. So we'll sponsor for two years and we have been truly, truly excited with um, the sponsorship. And, um, and Uncle Louis and I again have said, you see, these, all of these people that are here, we need sponsorship. We need to be able, because they are all award-winning pianists and um, soprano, 
and bass and tenor and auto and um, they're all award-winning people and um, we need to continue to encourage you know them and keep the skills keep the 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 people let's keep them in house um, we'll see because I'm a politician we'll see how we will blend them with the noise that we have when we go on campaigns you know it's not <laughs> it's not the same kind of organized music that you see um, but there's a way in which we enjoy it out but it's been a worthy evening I have um, listened and I've enjoyed and I watch him when he claps so I ensure that I clap the same way you know so that I don't distort the flow but I see you know music it's 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 in itself is life and you can feel it from inside that they're very serious and it's something that comes with a lot of energy and I'm truly truly proud of what the music society of Nigeria Muson you know has been doing for the almost 40 years now and it's um, it, it, it's a model that, that, that is worthy of emulation. Thank you all very much, Saz, that even, you know, you, are, you look gray now, but you can imagine 40 years ago, you were young men and women Nigerians, and you were able to set aside your fund, you know, to have kept this for 40 years, and I want to thank you very, very much. I want to thank you very, 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 very much. And... And for us as a government, we're, we're, we're copying your model of patron and trustees for our Jirandu um, Yoruba Cultural Center. I'm, I'm, I'm happy that I was able to push one or two of your trustees to also be on my board. So I'm, I'm excited that we're getting the right people. You know? And so when they explained to me that this is how you, know, you set up international organizations like this that will be devoid of all of the bureaucracies of government. It didn't take me a long time to listen, and I'm glad that I'm being here this evening. I just want to say it's been an honor that you've invited me, and, it's, um, and we've started our second term. Thank you all very much. We'll do a better job this time around. Thank you. Your Excellency, thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much all and have a good evening. God save the king. God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Thank you all for coming. Bye-bye now. Well, I think the contract is quite important for us because as you can see, Prince Charles laid the cornerstone for this particular building so we think it's a good thing to honor him. Well, we, you should respect music across cultures, Nigerian music, British music generally, but I think that most importantly is the events and the pomp and pageantry of today. That's what you should respect. Um, the first time I attended here was for a concert for, for a harpist, so I really enjoyed that as well. And I think it's a marvelous facility. I think that's pretty special, isn't it? I think our king really likes music, so I'm looking forward tonight to see a representation of that. Delighted to be here really, love music, so very much looking forward to what music we're going to hear. Um, as a Brit living in Lagos, it's always nice to come together with, with other Brits and our, our Lagosian friends to celebrate what is an, an amazing event and a once in a lifetime event for many of us actually. So um, really looking forward to hearing the music, meeting new people and having a great evening. I'm looking forward to a very um a very uh, beautiful and impressive concert. I'm looking forward to them performing, for example, Zadok the Priest, which is the standard by Handel for coronation of kings, uh, you know, from time immemorial. I hope they will perform that one. So Muson is uh, a well-established and well-organized, uh, you know, center, uh, and also a distinguished center for learning music and for producing music virtuosos and people of this uh, caliber. So it's been a very beautiful, uh, you know, um, place to belong to. And I'm sure uh, they will continue to, be, to improve uh, as the years go by. Well, the Muson is an institution that really prides itself in providing music to the community. And tonight will be a celebration with some of the classics. 
and of course the conductors that are well known within this institution. I am looking forward to seeing some top quality music from right here in Lagos, Nigeria. My understanding is it is absolutely world class. I thank the uh, government of the United Kingdom, particularly King Charles and Queen Camilla for the invitation. But most importantly, I'm here because I love Nigeria and I've heard so much about the outstanding music that is offered here. And it's just a pleasure to have come and accepted the invitation. Well, the word music comes from the word muse etymologically. And muse means to focus your thoughts upon a subject. And music helps you to be focused in your thinking. And so when we talk about our leaders, when we sing anthems, when we sing uh, concertos, when we sing classical music, and today popular music, it helps to focus us on our values. So musicians have a very important part in shaping our values. It's the big part of the cultural corner and uh, culture determines our values and it's pushed by education, formal and informal, arts, theatre and particularly music. So we want our musicians to sing things that will help us to focus our attention on building back our country and strengthening our democracy. It was a fabulous evening. I hadn't realized that we had such a sophisticated and uh, quality orchestra in Nigeria. Obviously, I knew we had uh, choirs, but it was a fabulous evening. And I hope to come to many more of these occasions. I believe that the music that was performed today was curated with complete understanding of the assignment. It is actually to celebrate the coronation of King Charles III and Queen Camilla. Um, I think it was done to great, um, you know, to great execution. Both conductors were excellent. The orchestra was fantastic and so was the choir. I think it was a perfect blend of both the traditional and local. It was a blend of perfect content. I thought it was an excellent performance today. I thought it was a nice fusion of both countries, a, a real celebration of the traditional and the modern. So yeah, I thought uh, it was very successful. It's been a wonderful collaboration. And uh, you know, we're very grateful to the Deputy High Commission for all their inputs. And I think it's been a very successful evening. What we did, we, we used it to fill a gap which we thought existed in a society. The people appreciating um, serious music, appreciating classical music. And it seems to have picked up. There's so much talent in this country. And it's just get a, an organized um, institution to, to, to work on these talents and bring out the best in every Nigerian artist. Music unites you. You see our performance. We did some British uh, songs. And we did also Nigerian songs. So it's a kind of a cultural collaboration between not just Muslim, but Nigeria and um, the United Kingdom. So, music has a way of bringing people together, of uniting people. So that is what we have done. That is what this concert signifies, unification or interculture between the United Kingdom and Nigeria. It's a great joy to work with those very motivated and talented musicians. Every time I'm here, I'm very pleased. It's a fantastic atmosphere they are very motivated to learn to to get better and then and, and i uh, i have experience of more than 30 years of playing in orchestra in germany so i can tell them really many 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 details on on that 
but they are doing very well. I'm, I'm really uh, overwhelmed how, how they did this performance. Really very good, fantastic. And it was a great variety of, of music, African music also and, and European music, of course, because of the coronation concert for uh, King Charles. It had to be some English music in the program, but they did very well. I, I, I liked really working with the Muson Symphony Orchestra. This relationship will continue. Now for us at Muson, our interest is to make our little contribution to the development of Nigeria. And our focus is on the youth who are the leaders of the tomorrow. We believe that music has a very, and the arts generally, have a very strong influence on shaping how people think, their vision of the world, and it has a way of encouraging people to reach beyond what they think is their potentiality and to perform at the highest level. And I think that the School of Music uh, that we have here has shown that it has been a worthwhile investment. The concert today was too much. Um, apart from the beauty, uh, the pomp, and everything about the concert, the music, uh, we're really grateful to our sponsors who made this event happen. Um, fantastic. So it's important for this collaboration with the British High Commission to continue. I mean, King Charles is a vital part of the Musical Society of Nigeria. And then we showcase all our students, our alumni, and anybody interested in music. So it's a good thing. Become a member of the Musical Society of Nigeria. It's been a very delightful evening. Lovely music, you know. I think uh, they've done very, very well, and we are so proud of them. And uh, we hope they continue. We need uh, people. My husband happens to be a patron, one of their patrons, you know. And uh, it needs to be sustained. The musical architecture of Nigeria has been significantly altered since the advent of Muzam. Many of its graduates, many of its trainees, many of its choristers, many of its instrumentalists are the ones who are making waves all over the place in the arts, in drama, in music, in choirs, even outside of Nigeria. I believe that what is going to begin to happen now is that we are going to begin to see a, a season where many other places are going to begin replicating what has happened here. Having this event was like epic to us because we had done the coronation reception at the British Deputy Commission about a month ago and having this after that was a welcome development for us. And the fact that one of like memory memory of this event was when the orchestra actually sang the song God Save the King. And you can see that the audience were actually very um, attentive to it. And it was a lovely event. We, we thought it was a good idea. And then we did all the planning in terms of who are going to come, the guest list. So we can see from the people who came, we were from government, the governor was there, from the royal father, we had traditional rulers as well, business people, diplomats, friends, friends of British, friends of Nigeria. It was a great event. Well, I suppose it all depends on each individual's passion. If you're good at something, then you want to get to the peak of that particular career. If music be the food of love, play on and give me excess of it. And that's what Muzan stands for. Music. Musical Society of Nigeria. It's been an awesome outing for Muzan. But I must let you know a lot of planning went behind what you saw today with the great support of every member of the board of trustees everyone took it as a personal project to make this event come to pass so a lot of work went in everyone was involved everyone was involved and we are all happy at what we see to crown it all people who came here today so people from different walks of life, politicians, doctors, nurses, people from different walks of life coming together all in the name of music, all in the name of
classical music. So that love is still there. So we still have that clout for people who love classical music.